Hey friends, this is Sabi. Today I am going to speak to you about that Jesus lifts us up always. Let's turn to this John chapter 15 verse 2 if you have your Bibles. You can turn to that. It says that every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bear fruits, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. Now we have this one thing in our mind that does it really takes away. Does it really takes away out the, all the people who are not bearing, bearing fruit. So let me make you very clear with the scripture. I will see what does this word takes away mean. The word takes away in the original Greek it means that every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. The word take away is written over your uh, in Greek is arrow, which means lifts up. He lifts up. And uh, so I want to make it very clear that every branch that does not bear fruit, actually he is lifting up. You know why? Because uh, the next scripture proves us this thing. He says that Jesus says, I am the true wine and the Father is the wine dresser. So let me tell you what is the work of a wine dresser. Uh, how, what, in a, what way exactly lifts us up? Uh, so a wine dresser, when every morning he comes up and he's, if he sees any branch which is fallen down, he lifts that branch up. This is true, he lifts the branches. Secondly, he washes those branches because it has some dust. So let me see the same thing. This is what Father God, who is the garden of the wine dresser, has done this thing. He has lifted us up. And today we are sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So through Christ Jesus, when, when Jesus died, we also died with him. When, when Jesus rose, we also rose with him. When, now, when Jesus is sitting there and the Father, we also sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. This is a privilege that God has given us. He lifted us up. So whatever situation you are, He's always, always, always going to lift you. At the same time, He not only lifted you up, but at the same time, He gave you His Holy Spirit. Because it says that the, the, the gardener lifts you up, at the same time He, he washes you with His water. So water is always represented to, uh, to the Holy Spirit. So uh, today we are not sitting in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, you are given the Holy Spirit. And you know why? Why does he wash his feet from the dust? Dust is always it says says that it is the snake's food. This was some curses like in Genesis. If you can read over there, uh, you will come to know. I'm just cutting it down. So I want to say that uh, enemy's uh, food is something like this. So God doesn't want us to be a part of this dust. And the dust always represents the, the frustration, the depression, the worry, the sin, the fleshly life. God doesn't want us to be a part of that thing. God wants us to wash us off all this thing completely and through the Holy Spirit, He, uh, he wants us to reign in life. He wants us that He has, he has lifted us up. Let's think of that and let, let we know that he, he has lifted us up and He is, he is going to bear, make us bear fruit. You know why? Because it is very clearly said, Jesus said, I am the vine and you are the branches. Then it says that we have to do something to become the branches. We are the branches. And if we, the, more, the, the more we abide and the more we know Him, we are going to bear. The more intimacy we bear with Jesus Christ, so uh, and, uh, in that way, we will bear more, much more fruit. So that intimacy is very important between Jesus Christ and us. This is what God is saying and this is what God is saying that He is going to lift you up and every branch that does not bear fruit, He is lifting you up. So they take the scripture, take the scripture very personal to you. He is going to lift you up and He has already done everything to lift you up. Thank you.